from Dom Bodan from samplelibrarywreview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Dandy Virtual Bassist by UJAM. UJAM's Virtual Bassist series made my best of 2019 releases list. And in just the last month, they've released not only an update to the instrument and the engine, which now includes MIDI, drag and drop, but they've also just now released Dandy, a brand new virtual bassist. Dandy is a sampled electric bass guitar with flat round strings. It's got two modes, a player mode with phrases that it triggers and an instrument mode that's multi-sampled instruments. There's 30 different styles with 990 phrases and 100 different presets for the tone and timbre. There's 15 finisher multi-effects modes that really drastically change the sound of the instrument. There's also MIDI drag and drop and a resizable user interface. Dandy normally sells for 129 US dollars. I'll include links both to take you straight over to UJAM as well as Plugin Boutique. Purchase wherever you'd like to. Just please use the links below if you want to pick this up. Developers notice where traffic comes from, and some developers will decide to support Sample Library Review. So after I got a chance to play through a lot of the phrases and the, the uh, instruments, the multi-sampled instruments, I went ahead and just kind of started playing with the instrument, getting some feel for how I might be able to use it. Here's a couple quick little grooves that I put together with some drums just to get a feel for what, um, what and how I might be able to use the library. I've got a dandy loaded up here. Um, we've got player mode, instrument mode. This is a first look. This is the first time I'm opening it up. So I'm going to share with you my experience checking it out. We're going to play through a number of phrases, get a feel for what everything sounds like. Um, and I'll probably at the end, you probably already heard it, but I'll probably mock something up and put a little demo together to share at the beginning. Let's talk about UJAM's virtual basis. I absolutely love what they're doing with the sound of these instruments. They were in my best of 2019 list. The um, acoustic bass, oh, that one is just a lovely, and the other ones sound great too. The funny thing with these instruments is I don't use their style phrases that often. Sure, you could get a little inspiration from that. I'm sure it'll be very helpful for songwriting and song construction. But the reason I love these um, UGM virtual basis libraries is the tone and playability. We're going to start off by checking out the instrument mode. If I can get it to go into instrument mode here. There we go. And the reason I love the instrument mode is because it intelligently will select what kind of playing we're going to be doing on the bass. I'm going to mute my mic and play around a little bit. We'll get a feel for some of the sound of the instrument, and I'll tweak out some of the character, amp, drive, and finishing presets. Thank you. 
Okay, quite a range in this, but what I'm hearing um, with this instrument, uh, with the capability of the sound, just kind of from this first look, what I'm starting to really hear is this lends itself much more to jazz, um, or I should say R&B, soul, um, hip-hop. Um, I think the tones and timbres I was getting, you could get away with some cool kind of funk stuff, although I don't think there's any slapping. I could be incorrect. We'll find out as we dig in a little deeper. Um, generally, the tone and range seems to be pretty diverse, obviously, from that super rounded 70s sound that we had all the way to this crunchy, distorted wah kind of sound. So pretty big range overall. Um, let's go ahead and go over to our player mode and we'll check out some of the phrases. I'm just going to start here with the solid. That's the name of the preset and we'll play some of these. And I think this is gonna be a little difficult for us to get a feel for it without a little bit of drum. All right, for the purposes of this, I pulled up a Beatmaker Eden, one of you jams, beat making plugins. And we're gonna go ahead and just get a little beat going with it. There we go. Good as new. Gonna just make that guy continue to loop while we check out the, in the instrument's uh, phrases.
Okay, I'm starting to get a feel for the diversity, not only of the presets and tones that they've included, but also for all of the factory phrases. And what do you know? Funk, hip hop, jazz, soul, R&B. These were all things that I just mentioned before I'd even done the pull down menu. And I think that <laughs> they sound pretty good. It's a pretty diverse range. Sometimes you pick a preset, you listen to it, and it just doesn't do much. That's one of the reasons I put that drum beat in there, because you can kind of hear how it plays off of that drum beat. I really like the sound of the range of the instrument overall. It does have a nice decisive spot amongst the virtual basses. It does overlap a tiny bit over into, you know, the session and the jazz or the session and the rock a little bit. But for the most part, it's kind of got its own timbre and tones. And with that finisher preset, of course, we heard just how far out that can go. What I like about the instrument far overshadows my criticisms. The things that I've wanted to see in these virtual bass instruments is some kind of visual representation in my phrases. Some way that I know what kind of rhythm I'm getting. As a composer, someone who reads music, works with MIDI, understands how beats and syncopated things look on a staff and in piano roll, I'd really love to know what I'm getting with these different phrases that they're able to load up. Where you get these? How do they, are they going to sound? What's the, where's the oomph? Where's the push? Uh, what is the backbeat like with the bass is supporting? Those are things that are my biggest wish list 
for the evolution of the virtual bassist, although I can't tell you how to implement them. They're just things that I really would love to see. As I'm working, I tend to use more of the instrument mode because then I can play the notes I want, how I want them to be performed. You've got key switches, um, you've got slides at dead notes, uh, you can turn on your full stop or legato on and off, and I think using it as an instrument gives me a lot of flexibility with a really nice sound. The phrases, like I said, in the player mode, really nice. I think if I'm going to have to cook up something quickly to replace a track that's a funk, hip-hop, jazz, pop, or soul, this could be a great starting point. I can see. I can also see how if I'm doing any kind of electronic uh, chill hop or ambient electronic with uh, s things that it's supposed to sound like I've got like a sample loop going on or something, these would be awesome. Not only would I be able to grab a phrase, but I'd be able to give it the character I want and keep a keep that instrument live on my track to be able to manipulate further as I continue to work on it. Overall, pretty pleased with Dandy. I think it's a really nice addition to the virtual bassists. But what do you think? That's my real question. Please comment below. Tell me what you think about virtual space Dandy. Is this something that you're going to be grabbing? Is it something that will work in your current workflow or a project you're working on? Tell me anything about it. Tell me what you thought of the instrument or what you're working on that maybe Dandy would come in handy. Hey, did you hear that rhyme there? That's it for this video here. Always appreciate your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news and our weekly deals page.